Hello and welcome to Nowhere. My name is Trish and I am the creator behind Nowhere Novelties. One of the most intricate and dare I say difficult designs is a tangram cup. Most makers take coordinating colors of glitter and create a either alternating or completely random kind of scattered method uh, design on the tangram. Foils are also an element that you can add to a tangram that really helps set it off. So today we're going to be creating this rose gold and leopard print foil tangram cup. It looks intricate, but it's actually only a few simple steps. It does take a long time to glitter though. So if you're ready, let's strap in and shoot for the stars. So the blank we're using is a 20 ounce skinny straight from Maker Flow Crafts. I have a double sided sticky tape sheet cut with my tangram pattern and it is already backed onto some like pale pink vinyl. Here are the foils I'm using. One is a rose gold, also a silver fuzzy leopard and a nail tape that is typical leopard print. Here are my glitters. Uh, these are all from Glitter Heart Company. I do not end up using the Make Me Blush, but I'll go over that later on. I wanted the foil to be more of an accent. The, the glitter was gonna be the primary focus on this tangram. So my foil pieces, I'm kind of going very sparse with each of the foil, kind of one um, of the diamond sections per column, if you want to call it that. These foil sheets are really easy to use on the double-sided sticky tape sheets. So you just lay your foils down, um, dull side down, um, and take a squeegee, an old gift card or credit card, and really give it some abrasion to get the foil to stick down and peel back and you get a good transfer. I like tangram cups that have like these two sections stacked on top of one another. I also like tangram cups that have um, V elements. Um, so you'll see me putting the V element in now. Um, so I tried to do kind of each type of section which with each foil. This is a very repetitive process applying the foils and applying the glitter to the tamgram completely. So I do kind of skip ahead and I'm not doing each individual box on video because it is it takes a very long time. Moving on to the rose gold foil. Um, I knew that I was using primarily rose gold glitter as well. Um, so I didn't want this foil to take over the whole design so i am going um still just trying to have one section per column of the foil color in each column the fuzzy silver i knew wasn't going to translate super well with these small sections so i did kind of minimal uh, boxes in the tangram just to give it a little extra pop but not add too much of the silver so I'm gonna talk about the double-sided sticky sheets. These are anti-cat scratch sheets um, that are from Amazon. I'll have them linked below, of course. Um, they are nice because they're, I believe, 24 inches tall by um, 12 inches wide. So you can actually get two 20 ounce skinny templates from one sheet. So they're kind of cost-effective. Um, better than some of the alternatives that are specifically designed for tumbler makers that of course have the tumbler maker markup. <laughs> but using the double-sided sticky sheets for foiling or glittering burst tumblers or tangram tumbler, tumbler like this, um, it just makes it way easier. You don't have to do the glittering while the template is on the cup. That's like one thing to really keep in mind. Speaking of glittering, our first glitter color is Brandywine, which is a, this nice deep wine color. So the way I glitter burst templates or 
this kind of double-sided sticky sheet template is I sprinkle a little bit of the glitter and kind of burnish it with my fingers to get the glitter to stick. And then I use a chip brush to get off all of the excess. The second glitter color I'm using is Dusty Rose. This is really nice. It has a cool flash of um, like gold and almost orange elements to it. I feel like I have about the same ratio of the brandy wine sections to the dusty rose section. Like one is not more prominent than the other. Now this is when I kind of realized that I didn't want a third pink or rose gold glitter on the cup. So I decided to bring in different elements of a true gold and a um, kind of translucent or champagne color. So I decided to add in Barely There from Peachy Olive Glitters and Saints and Sinners from Mr. Nola's Glitter. I knew that I wanted the gold and the champagne of Barely There to kind of take over and be way more prominent on the rest of the cup. So I feel like I have about double the amount of spaces of the gold glitter to the brandy wine and the dusty rose. And to finish it off with the Barely There, I like when the entire top and bottom rim of a tangram are all the same color. So you can see that I left all of the top uh, triangles and all of the bottom triangles um, the same and didn't add a different color to them. So those will all be the Barely There. I think it looks really cohesive that way. And then of course, all of the rest of the spaces in like the interior of the design are being filled in with the Barely There as well. I think this turned out really beautiful because the Barely There um, is a translucent opal champagne color. And you can see the light pink vinyl kind of flashing beneath the glitter and it pulls the whole rose gold look together. So after this thing is fully glittered, I did seal it a few times with clear Rust-Oleum gloss spray paint so that I got no movement from the glitter when I was ready to apply and then epoxy. Okay, so here comes the application of the double-sided sticky tape and I'm going to explain why I put vinyl down first and attach the double-sided sticky tape to the vinyl. So the double-sided sheets are very stretchy. Um, if you have ever tried to apply one to a cup, you realize that as you apply them, you kind of like pull and stretch the tape and it becomes kind of deformed. If you have an intricate design, you lose it. It can really be a hassle and they are not repositionable. If you stick it to the cup and it's not where you want it to be, there's no picking it back up. You will have to redo your entire design. So applying your double-sided sticky sheets to a piece of vinyl first, and then pulling the uh, vinyl backing off and laying your vinyl down is no different than doing a full vinyl wrap on a tumbler. You can peel back the vinyl if something goes awry, if you're, you didn't start off straight or you got a bubble underneath there. Um, it works out way easier to have the vinyl being what you're working with as opposed to the double-sided sticky sheet. So as you can see here, I'm just walking the backing off of my vinyl, kind of going column by column and pressing the design down to make sure nothing is moving oddly. And I get a nice, beautiful seam on this design. And for a nice cohesive look, I decided to glitter the bottom of the cup. I am base painting it with this pop of color blush um, and then adding the barely there um, over the pop of color. Uh, it's not quite the same um, base color as the uh, light pink vinyl that was under the double-sided sticky tape. So it doesn't match exactly, but I think it still brings the whole look together and you can't, you can't really tell that they're not the same color. These pop of color paints are so nice because while the paint is still wet, 
you can use the paint as your glitter adhesive. So I'm going right in with the Barely There, sprinkling that all over the cup, and I will be ready to epoxy. Because I am impatient, I did only one coat of epoxy before I was ready to pinstripe. I had to actually ask the opinion of my fellow tumbler makers on whether or not I should pinstripe this cup. I, I actually loved it without the pinstripes, but I will admit this really comes together and looks super classy with the pinstripes. So I am using super thin rose gold nail tape. I will have it linked below in the description box. Um, it's from Amazon. It came with a bunch of different colors. So this rose gold um, really fit the tumbler um, all the glitter colors and the foil colors really well. So I go in first and lay down the entire vertical section of the vinyl stripes first. And what I do not show is me trimming um, the vertical foil where the I have similar colors connecting. So um, if I created like a V coming into this next section, you can see um, the darker wine color um, towards the top there is more of a V section. So I actually took the vertical line out from in between the V so that you can see the entire seamless um, section. I also did not record me applying the angled, like the actual chevron portion of each individual diamond box shape. Um, it's very tedious, it takes a long time, so it would have just gotten repetitive to see on video. Um, I do have another Tangram Tumblr tutorial coming next week, so um, I do have that portion of the pinstriping included, so you guys will be able to see it if you do um, actually wanna see it come together that way. So similarly with the um, V sections and taking out the vertical um, center stripe, I, when I'm applying the pinstripe along the angled um, sections of the columns, I also do not add a stripe between two sections that are like the same foil or the same glitter. So. Um, like at the very top of this column that I'm doing right now are two sections of the deeper rose gold. So I did a stripe of foil or a stripe of pinstripe above that section and below it, but I didn't actually do each individual diamond. And that's kind of hard to describe without like seeing it, but you will see what I mean um, when you see the final look on the cup. The final result with these very thin, kind of dainty pin stripes turned out beautifully. This cup is so classy. I love the little elements of animal print and you can't go wrong with the rose gold. I've made a lot of rose gold cups. Um, I just think it's a really beautiful color. Once the pin striping is done, you do two final coats of epoxy and that's it. So like I said, tedious steps, but it is only three steps. Of course, if you have any questions at all, you can leave them in the comments and I will be sure to answer any questions I can. I hope you all have a great day and hope to see you real soon. Bye-bye now.